This is Richard's old boat. Richard is... Yeah, no, cool. Um, Richard is the gentleman who we had helped with a, a, a few several things, but one of the most notable and beautiful things was doing the mahogany trim inside of his uh, room above his carpentry shop. Well, this is a boat that Richard has owned for over 30 years. Totally outfitted it. It's a West Sale, so you could buy everything, everything for it or nothing for it. Look at that runabout. <laughs> and so, uh, anyways, Richard sold this to our buddy Jeff. <laughs> and uh, wherever Jeff yep. is, Just must be chatting to someone. Florida. Yep, and he's having it trucked to Florida. So they got it on this truck to bring it down to the travel lift. That's some, uh, let's add this to a wood boat in Florida. I guess that boat, that, that key was in some southern water. Man's help me out through all this. How you doing? <laughs> Beautiful tomatoes, and onions, and peppers, and lemons, and then for the long term stuff, cabbage, corn, those onions will last, potatoes, green peas, mm. early in the season, but that's okay. A bunch of salad stuffs, improving of various things, like our lazy jacks needed improving. So Pete is doing some improvement there. I went around and whipped any of the lines that were starting to fray that we never whipped or had time to whip or whatever. I just went around and whipped everything. And Pete improved the topping lift. We had a line that was a little too small for that topping lift. And so this winter, we got the right size line and Pete did an improvement to it too. So that's all that. I redid the baggy wrinkles. Because <laughs> we needed, needed a baggy wrinkle on, on this one. So I had to borrow some baggy wrinkles from over here. So. What else do we do? Yeah. We gotta do our single sideband line over there. And oh yeah, Pete tied on these things to keep the dead eyes straight. And I'm gonna go along and tie these so that they don't just come come out. So I'm gonna just tie them so they stay. That's just the bitter end of the whole thing here. Which is everything's been tied. Put some cotter pins up there. Various, various things.
sail up. Just gotta do our jibs. A little nervous. It's the first sail of the season, so. Yeah, you can start throwing up the jib now if you want. Okay. Yeah. You always know we're sailing. You know you're you're leaning and heeling over on a gaff rig boat because the dead eyes on the on the uh, I guess what's that the leeward side it would be uh, loose. These are all loose and you can see them kind of moving around. Where is the dead eyes over here? Tight. All right, there's that green marker. We gotta start turning pretty soon. Yeah, I'll let you know. The hottest day of the year. <laughs> it's supposed to be 90 today. We're freezing. <laughs> now we are in the shade. The sun is pretty nice. I'll get some pictures of the sails too. Oh yeah. We are first sail of the season. Not gonna lie, we're a, we were a little nervous. Yeah, the energy was a little too high up. Yeah, the, we put it we put it a little too high up in the air, so we need to lower it down so that the angle is better for pulling it. We'll do that in a minute. I just take a break for a second. Rika, how fast are we going? Five, six knots. Six knots under yeah. sail right now. Dang. All right, go. Cool. I better move this. <laughs> Hi. What you doing, Cory? We're wing on wing. And we'll, look at this view we got here. Look at that over there, Cory. Look at this mountain. That's Mountain Desert, isn't it? Okay. Mountain Desert Island. We're kind of wing on wing. <laughs> yeah. Mostly just main. We're getting ready to turn around that green marker and go anchor behind this cove over here. Get a pole on that. We need a pole on our jib. One of these days we'll get a pole. It's kind of weird way up here on the fore deck to get a pole on that thing now, but some one of these days. I guess that's Blue Hill right straight ahead of us. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at us boaters, always taking pictures of our boat on land. I collected some beach peas. I collected a, a pocket full for dinner tonight. Taking a little walk. That's Blue Hill. That's Tinker's Lane. That's the, cause this goes, this, this is Allen's Cove over there. And then this goes down to Naskeg down there. And so this, this is not considered Blue Hill Bay here. I don't know.